Wiggle Wiggle. Like. Hello and welcome to my store. Uh, hey, welcome to everyone, I guess. Thanks a lot for coming to explain some of your tactics. Uh, well, yeah, I guess Russia needs something to understand what happened to them. <laughs> so what was your thought about this Himmelsdorf, uh, my store? Well, what's my fault? Well, I think that, I mean, like, we took like well, one week. I mean, we, let's let's talk about like preparation and stuff. And uh, let's say like about Himmelsdorf, we this was like one of the maps we changed tactics. But on the other maps where we played against the Russians, we had like uh, let's say let's say we played old strats with like some changes slightly in the tanks. So what happened here on Himmelsdorf? We are sending tanks on the one two like first we are sending a budget right yeah. so you can give us info all over the one two line till like k kj one two then we have tanks covering double double z double tide the purpose of one of the types is to stay c3 and watch g g3 to counter h g3 position so that nobody can pick from there i'm i'm crossing towards the middle so I can spot anything in the middle if they are crossing through the middle, or and then I'm going to the window on D D5, right? Yeah. So I can the D5 position. I have optics on my S7, and obviously I have my S7 because it has the stronger stronger turret in the game. So basically, I'm spotting from this position. I'm spotting any enemy rotation from from one two line to like from to like from like hill and eight line. Like you can spot all over the till till like K4. You see, you see the cup? Like I'm spotting till there with optics. That's why I have optics in my S7 and and, I, and I'm using this position. Then we have like one type holding banana. Obviously yeah. a type something which HP because it doesn't have to drive much. The only count like the only next move it's doing it's pushing eight lines. So basically you can use a heavy tank. Okay, now about the tanks on the hill. Uh, actually, let's continue with the tanks on one two. We have two double sets, right? One is holding inside the inside the train station. The other one is outside in the back in case we get pushed from one two. Then we have an an E three as well, which can control the free line, so we can make sure we win the free line and support the hill from down. Basically, we are taking one two and sending tanks on the hill. We are, by the way, most of the people thought we are baiting by sending tanks on the hill. But the tanks on the hill have a special purpose. They are down to clear out G G four, G three positions. Because once you clear out those positions, you can start clearing out banana from like fr from there. You can start sending your WZs from there. But since we got the info that the batch had spotted us that they have really weak one two, we decided to push one two. Plus, yeah. we still have tanks on the hill with uh, with the cover of the Super Kongs. But we tested that they cannot repush zero, zero from the hill. When you have three Super Kongs, they're holding any any push. If they have ten tanks, you, you're gonna get you're gonna easily cover them. So basically, if you push hill, that's that's like the biggest mistake you can make. Also, if they push around the hill from the left side, from like uh, eight nine, you're gonna get shot from the one two. We tested everything and they cannot pick on your 50 bees or anything to kill them without trading well. So basically they're gonna get into a crossfire if they try to counter push hill. So, so what happens here? Stuck, huh? Yeah, so what happens here? We got the info they have on one two. We instantly pushed it. Since we after we pushed one two, we like cleared out the only one like the 113, they four run away. I don't know why. They four made a big mistake by running away. He shouldn't have been holding it. I think we traded really bad on one two, but uh, once we got it, it was easy for us. Like they had to make a move on the hill. We already took banana. Basically, they couldn't counter push anywhere, so it was won by that uh, by that moment. But like the most idea of this strat is anything they do, they just gonna run into a good, uh, like uh, how to say really good position of us, and we have all the information to. To like counter the enemy really well and uh, they have C to decide what to do, like it's super obvious. How could they um, defeat this strategy? What could they have done, you think? 
so they can like uh, do win against us. Yes. Uh, you'll rush middle and one two, I would say. That's the only weakness about this strategy. Yeah, if they yell rush one two with tanks sniping from behind and instantly with fast tanks, that's the only weakness because we have three Kongs on the hill. Yeah. Which we, if they counter push one two, we are sending the Kongs to push eight line and we are sending the fifty Bs towards the cup instantly. For the tanks, the the, the the Kongs from the hill will be around on B nine when we when they push when they push one two. Obviously, the tanks which are going one two will not go that defensive. But at least I think that's, that's the weekend for this trap, even though we will get the information. It's just the reaction we're gonna have to make, it's totally different. Yeah. Also, you can maybe push with 15 tanks, uh, not 15 tanks, like, I don't know, like, few tanks over the hill and have, like, positions like H3, H4 with, like, very heavy tanks. That's, I, say, I would say, the weakness, maybe. Like, pushing with many, many tanks one side and having, like, a trap somewhere. But that's basically a full counter or full counter. If you play something standard to it, like anything standard, you're gonna most probably lose unless you you, you like uh, fuck up individually. <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, we we had a lot of like fails in the other games but this one this one we didn't have that many fails except like some one two shootout and stuff well it doesn't matter well that, that's it for like demos though i mean if you have any other question for the tactic uh no it's good it's good well explained. I, mean, I mean like these tanks where you have on the hill which are cleaning out g3 g4 if they are playing passive we be, we are doing it. We are we have these tanks on the hill covered by the Kong, so we can so we can take the middle. From the middle, we can do you can control any rotations, and we you can take positions like G G two G three between them, and cl start killing a banana. Then you just send more tanks towards the banana, and you start killing out banana. And then they will be forced to counter push. You are already holding one two and hills, so they basically it's like they have nothing. They can't do anything to against it. Yeah, it looks very convincing. That's about <laughs> him as dark, I guess. I mean, it sounds like simple, but it's it took it took me a lot of time to make this strategy. Oh, nothing is simple about strategy. I think quite the opposite. Yeah, it's just it's just reacting to what the enemy does. I mean, I, yeah. I my style is like to play what. Uh, map control and ba decisions based on information most of the clans on on the EU server except like I would say CSA and maybe maybe go in they play on uh, everybody else plays like some rushing strat without any information just hoping on something to happen basically something what in the same match what we did on Morvanka I mean I didn't do the style on Morvanka obviously but let's say something like that English one, the Russian one, but man pulled up in the German one. Two four fours in a four-door truck. There's one on the right, on the left. There's one. We don't wait for the.